Welcome back to ZMHX, so we got Prison Gunslinger Suicidal. <laughs> I just, uh, in the, uh, in the Discord server I'm in, we were talking about s somebody, somebody made ramen and they had, uh, not, not ramen in, they, they had ramen noodles, but it was like a stir fry thing, right? Anyway, somebody wanted a spoonful of it. I'm like, how are you going to eat ramen noodles with a spoon? You, you monster. I think I called him a magician specifically, but uh, I said chopsticks are the uh, superior ramen eating utensil and the superior watermelon eating utensil. And uh, one person here is, is a little bit, a little bit bothered that I would eat cho uh, chopsticks with watermelon. That I would eat chopsticks with watermelon. Yeah, um, that I would eat watermelon with chopsticks. But you know, watermelon is slippery and all wet and stuff so how we eat watermelon here is we we chop it up into nice little nice little cubes right and then we take our we take our chopsticks which which we have our own because you know they're, they're just they're the they're, they're best utensil for eating certain foods right like I'm not gonna eat ramen with with a spoon how else are you gonna eat ramen did you need you need chopsticks um, so we, uh, we we chop the watermelon up into these these little cubes, right? About inch by an inch or so, and then uh, you just pick them up with your chopsticks. You stick them in your mouth. You don't have to get your hands all gross and stuff. You you don't end up getting the like watermelon juices dribbling down your chin. It's just all over the the chopstick, and then straight into your mouth. It's the the best way to eat watermelon. Anyway. So I was uh, I was using the script that I have for the uh, the making the thumbnails, and it didn't really work that uh, that well this week. I'm not sure what happened, um, or no, it didn't work last week rather. Uh, I'm not sure what happened exactly, but it didn't like it. There was uh, there was this one, well there was there was a few problems with it actually. Uh, so there was one video that it ended up creating like a corrupted JPG. So I'm not sure if the if um, the file that it was trying to use was just corrupted or uh, if, if something happened but it didn't really work that great for it um, and uh, the other one that kind of had the other, the other thing that um, kind of caused some troubles was the two berserker runs the uh, the OCR the, the optical character recognition, which is like a machine looking at a picture and then trying to pick out what text is in the picture. Um, the, can you guys just chill the heck out? Goodness gracious. Can y'all just give me a, a moment to rest? I'm trying to try to talk about my my berserker not working. Goodness gracious! Oh my God! Okay, right, so <laughs> ah, so we had. Uh, I'm not even gonna. No, I'm okay. You know what? We're we're going this way. I don't like going this way because stuff comes out there and it just surprises you. Uh, anyway, so the two berserker runs that we had last week. For some reason, the OCR, the Optical Character Recognition. Goodness gracious, this is far too many EDARs for for one for one round. This is far too many EDARs for one game. We shouldn't even have this many EDARs in the entire game total. It's just too many EDARs. Get out of here. Oh my god. Wow, they just blew the doors down. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I tried to close it to like block off some of the shots, and it just blew them right off. Holy... Wow, these, this is like the hardest round two I think I've ever faced. Like, what the heck? What the heck? What is happening? I'm just booking it. Okay, so I think I think we got some some time here. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. I lied. I lied. I said we have some time. We definitely do not have any time. Run out of bullets. Yeah, I'm out of bullets. You have to go, okay? 
Like, why are there so many Edars? Oh my god. Okay, we're done. I think we're. I think we just got the bloats and uh, a couple of uh, gore feeds left, right? And that guy. This is this is acceptable. My God. All right. So <laughs> anyway, the berserker, the OCR, the optical character recognition, blah 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 blah, picks up the the text in the trader menu, which apparently I'm just gonna be able to run to and, and show you now. But um, it picks up the text in the trader menu that tells you what perk I'm playing, right? Right up at the uh, the top left here, picks up the the stuff uh, up there, right? Anyway, the uh, the two berserker runs that I did, it was picking up as like the first one was I I O Calg, and then the second one was uh, Bist Calg, and I'm like, okay, neither of those are correct. <laughs> those are those are both very very wrong. Um. Not not necessarily the the right way to, to pick that up. So I'm gonna have to see if I can like train it better. It does pick up Gunslinger and Commando just fine, which are the the two perks that I I tend to play on the most. Um, and honestly, if it picked up the same wrong perk every single time, like if it was always Bist Calg, I wouldn't even mind. But it's that the two videos gave me two different things, so I have to have I have two two files in my. Uh, in my perks directory, I have IIO Calc and Bis Calc because I'm like, well, I, I didn't add anything to like re. Well, I have to do is I'll figure out this way to retrain it, and then um, if it gets it wrong, I can just say you're wrong, and then give it what it is, and it'll like add it to its list of, of training stuff. But um, yeah, that one wasn't that bad because I could just make the um, the extra. Uh, what you call it? The extra files, the extra pictures of the uh, the bis calc and the IIO calc, and then just call it a day. Like it's not gonna ruin the entire thing, right? However, the uh, the whole corrupted PNG thing that one that one kind of messed it up pretty bad for me. I got a bit of a sneeze coming on. I got a bit of a sneeze coming on. I think we're I think we're good. I think we're past the point of danger. Yeah, I'm excited to get into uh, recording all of these new videos because uh, also uh, I'm working on the RuneScape 3 content still. It's it's it's, it's an ongoing thing, but for me, the uh, the RuneScape 3 content is something that I want it to be the best of, right? And I've uh, I've talked previously about like accepting my mediocrity, embracing my mediocrity, and and being okay with not being the best. And for the context of, of this series, for the context of the Killing Floor Two series, I think it's important for me to uh, to accept that I'm not the best and that that I'm not going to be able to be the best because while I could maybe be the best content creator for Killing Floor Two, I could maybe do that if I put in a lot of effort. I'm just, I'm going to get so demotivated by it that uh, I'm not going to be able to consistently upload as I have been, right? Even though maybe if I put in all this extra work, I could get there because I have a, I have a pretty good eye for content, I think. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at, uh, at this whole content creation thing. I'm just not good at it on the fly, which is uh, why we're, why we're doing this thing. Anyway, I've uh, I have talked about accepting my mediocrity before, and uh, here I am saying that I need to be the very very best at uh, not doing this. <laughs> uh, that I I need to be the very very best at making these RuneScape three guides. But for me, that's something that's not going to be a, like regular content. So if I if I put it off for six months before I finally make the first video. That's uh, that's acceptable to me, right? I don't mind that so much. Because it means that I eventually did it and I was the best. Right? If I'm going to put in time to editing it, I want to make sure it's actually good. And if that means that I only put up, you know, one guide a year at this point, then that's what it means. I also need to have uh, some other RuneScape 3 content coming up. I want to do... Uh, yoink. I want to do Mainscape kind of stuff where I uh, I play my my main and just show the progress of it like I'm coming up on my first uh, title my first uh, collection log rather 
and uh, it'd be cool to, to bring you guys along for that. Not that I'm going to have a collection log, like, hunter thing yet, probably, maybe, but anyway, working on that, working on the guide still. I just I need to make sure that it's the very best that it could be. So it might it might like yeah it, it could be in like a year that we, we end up putting up the the RuneScape three guide. But I am super looking forward to doing this. Uh... I mean I hope you guys gave me feedback yesterday, but it's still it's still Sunday for me. So uh, I hope you guys gave me the feedback about uh, titles and stuff, and that'd be good. I'm gonna have to work out a thumbnail for it, but. I'll uh, I'll see if uh, perhaps a friend of mine can uh, can help me with that or uh, design my own. Which you'll 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 have there'll be a big difference in quality between the uh, the Killing Floor two thumbnails and then um, the ones that I make for the whatever we end up calling it. Viking. Whatever it is, who knows. I just like this gun, you know? It's just a good gun. Even not upgraded, it's still just uh, a very... It's a solid gun, you know? It's 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 very... pleasing. I was gonna do Iron Man series on RuneScape, but... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm gonna start with the main stuff, I think, because, uh... I just have play on the main more, so... Kind of, kind of makes sense to uh, to do it that way, right? Where are you coming from? You're coming from up there. Where are you coming? Where are you at? You can't hit me through this. Look at how small I am and how big you are. Okay, I can't really hit you either. Just have to get him. So the first phase real quick and then uh, you're, you're good to go. We've, we've discussed this in a previous video. Just have to phase them real quick and then uh, you're good. If you don't do it real quick then um, he's actually kind of a hard boss. But if you do do it real quick then he's uh, pathetic. As, uh, as demonstrated by his patheticness here. His, uh, his extremely pathetic showing of being pathetic. Have we only got Hans? No, we got Hans, Patriarch Hans. We're getting a lot of Hans this week, though. I kind of don't hope it stays that way, because he's kind of a boring boss on Suicidal, because it's just so easy. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.